y'all. Welcome back to Ukulele Wine Time. My name is Catherine. Today we are playing I'll Fly Away on the ukulele. We need three chords. Those are C, F, and G. I'm going to show you three different strumming patterns from basic to a more challenging strumming pattern. You can choose the one that feels best for you today. And uh, let's go. Ukulele Wine Time. So I've loved this old gospel song ever since Oh Brother Where Art Thou and honestly before that it's a great one for the ukulele, sing around the campfire, get everyone singing along with you. So we just need um, those three chords C, F, and G. Um, that's a one, four, and a five chord and we are in the key of C. I'm going to do a quick chord overview. If you don't need that, you can just skip ahead to the next little section. Um, then we're going to line up the chords with the lyrics. Then we're gonna count with the chords and then we're gonna do the whole song. So let's jump in with those chords that we need. So first up is our C chord. So we need third finger, um, one, two, three, on the third fret, one, two, three. Bottom string is our C chord. Make sure you tune. And we are in a G, C, E, A, standard tuning, by the way. Okay, next up we need our P sign fingers for F chord. Okay, there's F. Middle finger goes on second fret, one, two of the top string closest to your face. Skip a string, first fret. Okay, it's our F chord. And then G chord. It's a little sneaky G chord in this song. Just need it one time in the verse and chorus. Uh, it makes a little triangle on the fretboard. S start with our peace sign fingers again. They have a string skipped in the middle on the second string down and then the bottom string. And then your ring finger comes to close the point of the triangle on that string that you skipped. So there's our G chord. Okay, we are ready. We start with a C chord. We're gonna line up. Oh, and I've got a PDF linked below. It's got the lyrics with some, the words bolded that happen to line up with the chords. So if that's helpful for you as an anchor. And then I've also got a little um, lead sheet with the chords with slashes counted out, which I think is a great way to start kind of internalizing the rhythm of the chords and seeing that visually. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna do a verse and a chorus just with those simple down strokes. Um, and we are holding the chords out for four beats. So C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. Um, except on that last little tricky G that's two beats. But we'll, we'll get to that. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, three. For some bright morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to that home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. This is a chorus. Let's check out that last little bit really fast, the C to the G to the C, because that happens really quickly, probably the trickiest part of the whole song. I'll fly away. So that's C to G to C to three, four. Two counts C, two counts on G, four counts on C. Let's do that like two times together right now. Let's do it. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, let's move on to verse two. Um, so here, if you want to, if you're like, I'm ready for another strumming pattern, lady, uh, we can level it up a little bit. So we were doing um, four beats per chord, except for the last C to G part. Um, now we can um, do when the shadows of his life have gone. So one, two, three, four. So that's two beats per chord. All right, here's verse two and the chorus with that strumming pattern. One, two, ready, go. When the shadows of this life have gone, I'll fly away. Like a bird from 
work nice work okay now we're gonna actually skip verse three we're gonna jump to verse four with our strumming pattern and that is going to be down down up down up down To this my hand is actually going down up down up down up down the whole time um, if that if that's helpful so I'm not doing like down down my my hand is just kind of doing all the strumming and then I choose when it hits the strings If that, I don't know if that could be a little aha moment for you. Maybe you're like, what? Uh, if not, don't worry about it. Okay, we're gonna try out the strumming pattern with verse four and a chorus. I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit just so we can get used to that strumming pattern. So we're doing down, down. No matter which chord pattern you choose, whether it's just the, the basic, the first one I showed you, or the second one where you're two beats per chord, or this last one, the actual timing of the chords is the same. And actually, if you wanna take a look, let me get my little sheet over here. If you wanna take a look at your um, the PDF, whether it's just on your screen or below, let's actually do one time just counting through the chords. We're just gonna count through that. So I've got my... Um, Looks like this here with slashes. So the slashes, each one of those gets a beat. So uh, this is an eight measure song, on, four measures on the top here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then each of the slashes is one beat. One, two, three, four. So that's four beats of C, four beats of C, four of F, four of C. So let's count, let's count that together. Just one time through. If you don't need that, you're like, I'm ready for the whole song, let's do it. You could skip ahead, but if you're like, counting is weird for me still, let's check it out. So no lyrics, we're just gonna count the chords. I'm just gonna do down strokes on those chords um, and we'll go through it one time together. Here we go. One, here's our, here's our heartbeat, our pulse, our beat, here we go. One, two, ready, go. C, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. C, two, 
three, four, C, two, G, two, C, two, three, four. Ooh, and you can um, rewind, rewind that. If you wanna try it with the double, like C, two, three, four, or with your strumming pattern, uh, down. are counting we're gonna take a little mini wine break and then we're gonna do the whole song together and it's gonna be amazing you're amazing also I don't know if you've noticed I am NOT drinking wine tonight it is cheerful and pink which is delightful but I am having a ukulele uh, seltzer time tonight because my whole dang family got a whole dang stomach bug and it was awful and I am um, not quite ready for wine yet, so I am chilling on some seltzer this evening, which is delightful. I love Spindrift. They're not sponsoring me. I just think they're yummy, and I like that they don't have any weird stuff in it. It's just like raspberry puree, raspberry juice, lime juice. There's no like natural flavors and weird stuff. So anyway. Cheers to you. Maybe you're drinking wine. Maybe you're drinking seltzer with me. Maybe you're having morning coffee and learning the song. So wherever you are, whatever you're drinking, whatever you're doing, cheers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, y'all. We're going to do I'll Fly Away, whole song. Oh, one quick thing before we do that. So this is such a great song to play with other people. Um, if you just do it all the way through, it's gonna be over like that. So what's typical is to do a solo and that is just the same chords, but you just don't sing. And someone else maybe can solo or can just be instrumental. So here's our arrangement today. <clears throat> We're gonna do verse one, chorus, verse two, chorus, uh, solo, which is just gonna be one time through the chords. And then we'll take it out with verse four, chorus, and then we're gonna tag that last little ending. So we're gonna do, um, I'll fly away, and then repeat that. I'll fly away, and that's called a tag. So we're gonna tag the ending. Okay, here we go, whole song. All right, I'm gonna do the third option for the strumming pattern the whole way through of the song. We're gonna do a solo. And what else? Oh, I'm gonna do a little intro just on C and then I'll, we'll start with the lyrics. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
Okay, so what, we did a double chorus at the end. We did a little tag, I'll fly away. And then that's a nice little gospel ending there to do just a quick little C back to F to kind of finalize that little ending. That's a just nice way to end it. Nice job, y'all. Cheers. You did it. You made it. Thank you so much for joining me today on Ukulele Wine Time. If you found this video helpful and delightful, please cheers the like button below. Please subscribe. You know you want some more Ukulele Wine Time, even though today was Ukulele Seltzer Time. It's usually wine time. And cheers to you, and I hope to see you soon. Ukulele Wine Time.